Hello, South Fork family. Uh, whether you are worshiping today in the morning or in the evening, whether you're worshiping from uh, your kitchen table or your couch or somewhere else uh, with family and with friends, uh, we just pray that this video finds you well. Uh, we are praying blessings and health for all of you. Uh, and we wanted to create some resources for you so that you too could worship wherever you are. Uh, in Luke chapter 24, uh, Luke tells a story about two disciples uh, that were walking away from Jerusalem, headed the wrong way to a, a town that nobody had ever really heard of. Uh, and they're talking about everything that had been going on over the past few days. They're wrestling with um, what life was going to look like now that the one they'd been following for three years suddenly was gone. Uh, and as they were walking, this man walks up and asks them what they've been talking about. And they look at him as if he's crazy. Like, how is he the only person who had no idea what had just happened in Jerusalem? But then he takes the conversation a little further, and he tells them the entire story from the beginning of Scripture all the way until that point about what God was doing in the world and what he had planned. Uh, and later on, they invite this man uh, to sit down at the table with them to share a meal because it was getting late and they didn't want him to have to keep on walking. And in Luke chapter 24 and verse 30, this is what Luke writes. When he was at the table with them, he took bread and he gave thanks and broke it and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? And what I love about this story is the entire time they had no idea that the man who was telling them everything was Jesus. The one that they were mourning was suddenly standing right in front of them. But my favorite part about the whole story is that their eyes were opened when they broke bread together. Um, and we have the same opportunity today. Um, as we take communion, our eyes are also opened to see Jesus for all that he is. Uh, our eyes are open to see the world in the way that Jesus sees the world. Um, our eyes are open to see one another in the same way that Jesus sees us. Uh, so today as you commune, as you take the bread that represents the body that was broken on the cross for you, as you take the juice that represents the blood that was poured out on the cross for your redemption and for mine, I pray that your eyes are opened to see the world in the same way that God sees the world, uh, to see Jesus in every moment, uh, and to be radically changed by his life, his death, and his resurrection. Let's pray, and then you can take communion together. Uh, God, I'm so grateful. Uh, for moments like these that we get to share meals together. Uh, whether we are literally gathered around a table, or whether we're at a large church building, or whether we're sitting in our living rooms, God, I just pray that you remind us that we are the body of Christ. Uh, that we, not the building, are what make up who you are in the world. Uh, God, as we take this bread, as we take this cup, that represent the body and the blood of your son that was broken and poured out for us. I pray that it would be a blessing to our bodies, but more importantly, a blessing to our spirits. Uh, God, may we think back uh, to what was done, and may we look forward to what you're going to do. Uh, we pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. We love you. Have a great day.